Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. So, I'm going to start a series. Somebody asked me to do a series. I can't look at his name. It's number one something. Uh, one of my new subscribers, and I'm definitely going to honor. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Love the sub. Thanks. He really helped y'all with the series that he asked for in content by request. Uh, he wants to know how do you know if a woman is a wife or a hoe. You came to the right place, buddy. But it's other stuff that we get ready to talk about along with this. It's very important. It's very important. Let's start with uh, part one of this. How do you know the difference between if a woman is going to be a wife or a hoe? Now, the other video I'm, I'm going to make is things that every man, no matter what the woman says or thinks, should always demand. We got to protect ourselves, y'all. And we, you know, matter of fact, let's start with that. Things. What was that? What was that? That, uh, that light. Things that every man should demand. If she break up with you, so what? Get somebody else and demand it with her, too. And this video ain't gonna even be that long, yo. It ain't gonna be that long. Five minutes, tops. One, DNA test with every kid. Tell her, look, it's not personal. It's a lot of things going on. Women have a lot of different reasons for what they do. Um, and demand any woman to say she's having your kid, no matter what. In today's world, DNA tests with every kid. That's number one. Number two is before you marry any woman, marriage license or not, the stuff you vet, well, we're going to do videos on vetting too. The stuff you vet, do like they do in corrections and police. The questions, when your answers to the question, they're going to come back and give you a polygraph to see the level of honesty in the things that they asked you. Y'all got to do that to these women. Don't write it down in front of her. You got to have a good memory like and, and kind of write down the answers. Like you should be vetting her the whole time. When y'all when you commit to her, you still vetting her. Before you commit to her, you vetting her. So, you got to before you commit to these ladies, man, you got to demand a polygraph. And you got to be careful because they will become everything that you can't stand and don't tolerate. And it ain't going to be nothing you can do. The court more than likely going to take her side on everything. So you got to protect yourself from the jump. So those are the first two. DNA testing. When any kid somebody says yours. And a polygraph before you commit to them, whether you're having a marriage license or not to see the truthfulness in their question. We're going to talk later about the questions that you want to ask. It might be harsh for you. It might. But this is how you got to be, man. Like this, this the way it got to be. Third thing is complete cooperation financially. Complete cooperation financially. They, when y'all start uh, committing to each other and things of that nature, if you, first of all, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise you to move any woman in unless you finna marry them after you do it. Because you might decide before you even go down the aisle, that's all right. But if you decide that and... I would say this. I could have included this. Don't show no woman where you live right away. Get a room. Get an Airbnb. 
Because if you don't know how she is, she could have been the type that just burnt her ex-boyfriend house down. You telling her where you live, thinking you finna smash and dash a woman with a mind like that. Y'all got to get smarter, man. Y'all too thirsty, man. You At some point, you got to start thinking with your big head, not with your small. Or should we say think with your biggest head, which is this one. Hey, listen, man, you can tell I don't care what you think you got. If your head on top of your neck is smaller than your head on, on top of your nuts, you finna die. Something wrong with you. So stop being so arrogant, man. But anyway, let's keep going. DNA test, polygraph test, complete cooperation financially. And the next thing. This is important. We got to eliminate simple. You are the leader. Make sure she understands that. Let her have her own place, do her own thing until you see that she understands that. This is why you got to move slow. You ain't supposed man, ain't no blessing, ain't no riches, ain't no fortune, ain't nothing coming from God like that to a man that's being led by a woman that's witchcraft ain't it rebellion okay watch this watch this watch he said the head of every woman is a man right so if you have it otherwise ain't that rebellion we supposed to be living by his standard to the best of our ability So that's why I got that in here too. You gotta know how to vet. Next thing is a STI test, regularly. They'll tell you you're the only one and then how many dudes mysteriously end up with a disease? Cause you ain't you you was giving her too much leeway. You don't treat a woman higher than you treat yourself as a man. You make them respect your manhood. And if, and the ones that don't want to do it, I don't care what kind of booty they got. I don't care how how they mouth game is or whatever else. I don't care how good they can cook. If she don't respect your manhood, man, leave her alone, man. That goes back to something I was talking about earlier that Kevin Samuels used to say, and we, we in closing, we'll be back. He was talking to this one particular woman, and he was like, why would you raise your voice and act like that, and you know he'll whoop your A? All you gonna do is call the police. These women be having it in the back of their mind that they gonna talk slick to a man. All these, get in mind, all these women out here that, that's begging for a man, crying for a man, and these women that got a man think that it's either he be a complete cuck simp to be with her. All the women that want somebody else. Or he stand on her and when he stand on her, now she want to get him in trouble. These chicks childish, man. Look, nobody's childish in their own mind. But if you the type, if these women are the type that are talk slick to you, then when you get mad, they're trying to call the police. Next thing. The commitment is over with a woman. You have to have this in your mind. Your commitment, no matter what, forget that love stuff. Stop thinking about that. It's over when she cheats or when she call the police on you. It's over. It's over. That's why we got to have our money right as men. Because why should you be in a situation where you got to live in a house with a woman that done called the police on you? It's over. And you know you're a simp 
if you know that you ain't did much of nothing or nothing at all, and she done called the police on you, Now, last thing we're going to talk about, we'll be back. If y'all want me to come back on this, I'll come back on this. But the last thing we're going to talk about is if you if you choose to practice polygyny, make them fully accepted. Make them fully accepted. Because if they don't fully accept it, they're going to make problems for you down the line, man. So you got to make sure they fully accept it. There's more, but we'll be back with it. The main two is don't be accepting that these is your kids. You don't know what you ain't with nobody 100% of the time. You don't know what they doing. You could have went to sleep and she was downstairs getting banged. You don't know that. You could have went to work. And while you was at work, she was getting banged. You don't just claim these kids, man. If she get mad, she get mad. That's why you got to control your scene anyway. You think because you with somebody, you supposed to have a kid with them? You don't know how they going to be eight months from now, two years from now. I've seen a lot of met metamorphosis with women. Trust me when I tell you that. I've seen how they can switch up from the person that you thought was perfect to the person that you know is imperfect. Listen to me, man. I'm your daddy, I'm your uncle, I'm your best friend. I'm your brother. Just listen to me, man. Keep your life right, man. These women, they act like they the best thing that could happen to you in your life. But if you're not careful, that one that you think is the best thing could become the worst thing. And there ain't gonna be nothing you could do about it but get fleeced. So listen to me, man. Yeah, and look, 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 man. Trust me, man. Trust me when I tell you. You open your mind up, you will start to enjoy being single. Stop trying to be like your father, man. He probably not even telling you everything. I know you want a family of your own, man, but these women are not built like that. The majority of them, 90 some percent of them. They'll tell you they love you and this and that, and then they'll leave you alone for another dude. And now you feeling bad. You feeling sad. But we'll be back, y'all. Stay tuned.